click, boom, here we are. Back with MBT, the uh, fourth, whatever you want to call it, Canadian doohickey guys. And uh, that's a thing, you can actually call that module the doohickey guys, if you wish. But uh, what I wanted to do, I by the time you see this, I should have released a post regarding Soviet tactical doctrine and the Soviet game plan for uh, for this particular scenario, scenario, I think it's 31, the uh, uh, bullets and beans or beans and bullets or uh, butter and beans or whatever it is. But it's the very first scenario from the 4CMBG uh, 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 module for main battle tank for MBT, right? So, but, but, uh, rather than uh, write about the Canadian tactics or plan, I thought it might be interesting to post this video and ask some ask for some uh, comment and ideas and I'm going to give you a very quick context so we understand what what the what the goals and objectives are so I'm going to zoom in and out a little bit so just don't be freaking out don't get nauseous it's it's going to be okay all right so over here Papa 27 all right this town village town is on a, a rise or a small hill and Wolf 27, Wolf 27 is here. Basically, this hex and all the surrounding hexes are in essence a supply depot and we're looking to try and control that. That's the majority of the VPs and everything else is uh, predicated upon kills, you know, uh, uh, killing vehicles and bad guys. So the Soviets have got to come in and, you know, cross some open ground or they can come in and try and come from the forest and get in here and, and do their business. Now, the interesting thing about this scenario, uh, as opposed to some of the earlier ones in the very first MBT module, is that it's 20 turns. So there's no dicking around, right? Uh, you, you, you've got to get after it ASAP. Um, 20 turns is not a lot of time. It's, it's literally three turns to get to here if you go hell for leather. Uh, so with that in mind, defensively for the Canadians, we've got three improved positions. I've got two Leos, uh, uh, this, their C1s technically, but uh, whatever. Uh, four mortar squads or mortar units. Uh, I could pull out the OB here somewhere, but we'll just, kind of, we'll, we'll fake it. Then I've got an AA uh, unit here. There's a Hilo, an MI8 transport that uh, can drop off three units in this scenario. So we've got to kind of watch our backsides here. So my intention was to keep a kind of defense forward plan with an improved position here. I've got to work out where to put this guy. These M113s uh, or M113s, however you want to uh, pronounce them uh, or, or, or talk through the numbers are pretty useless and but they have machine guns so it, there's a lot of infantry coming there's nearly two full companies of infantry so the gp fire factor will be important and so we're going to want to keep some additional firepower available and worst case it soaks up uh, it soaks up uh, armor shooting at it uh, potentially anyway so what I've done is I've got my forward observer here uh, to uh, provide spotting for the mortars. This, his, here's the other two mortars here. And I've got a, uh, now this is like a portable tow, right? It's, it's basically the tow unit taken off of uh, a transport. Uh, I've got two of those, I think. Where's the sick? Uh, here's another one over here, right? And the way I'm looking at this, and then I've got an ambush set up with a third here. Now it's supposed to be a hidden unit, but I've just got a command unit here. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm allowed to have four hidden units, uh, hidden unit counters. And what I'm gonna do is basically, when there's a line of sight to here or here, I'm gonna roll a die and the unit will either appear there or it won't, uh, based on your know, odds evens. And that'll keep it uh, sexy and uh, unknown for everybody, for both sides of my brain. Uh, so we're gonna run that type of deal. That'll be our little ambush 
uh, effort. And then we've got fields of fire sort of through here. Obviously, I, you know, I think for the Soviets, they're probably going to want to come and, and advance through here, cross at this bridge. I can shoot the bridges down with GP. Uh, they have a defense of five. So I could actually blow out this bridge here. That's going to force them to deploy one of their two bridging units, which would make life pretty interesting for them. So there could be an argument for uh, my, my command range is 10. Where is my command unit? I had him here somewhere. I think it might be this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know, it might be, or it might almost be worthwhile trying to get up close to this and shoot this out and then force a turn uh, of, de you know, deploying this uh, bridge here or make them deploy somewhere else. Uh, so that's, there's an idea. Don't know where to put the improved positions. I'm seriously considering, uh, I got to look up the rule. I'm not sure if I can put a tank in, in an IP. But that might be interesting to sort of boost the defenses. And the cat has been laying on the map. I can tell this here. Uh, I, uh, so that might be something to do, but obviously not behind. Well, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe behind here. So we've got this sort of field of fire. We've got some protection on the flank there. You know, they could come this way, right? The Soviets could come down here and then try and bum rush this way as well. It's not uh, not something I've put a lot of deep thought into uh, from the Soviet side yet, at attacking this way. So I'm curious about your ideas and thoughts on the best defensive scheme for these guys to set up in. Uh, this, this guy didn't punch out very well. You know, there's, they're, they're loosely in the... Uh, loosely in the sprue and uh, the edge the edge popped up here and it happened on two counters it hasn't happened on that one as well it's not a big deal but anyway uh, so unclear as how to best deploy my forces I think you're having a toe out here so I can shoot up this up that way if I need to and across here, I've got a, I've got a sort of a, a window across there. And these guys are great at range, so I'll take anything out. Maybe I keep the two leopards back in reserve somewhere. But it would seem a shame to uh, lose that firepower. Having said that, if they're spotted, they're dead because these T-55s have a missile capability that will shred anything. Uh, knife through butter if I get the, I get the hit. Uh, and then roll, uh, we can roll, it'll roll a kill uh, quite easily. Interesting. So I, look, I'm open to comment on uh, Defensive Schema and let's uh, talk about it either on the YouTube page or on the Facebook page in the Modern Warfare area. Uh, or I, I can also post up a picture on the blog and we can use that to, to have a conversation. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on what's the best mode to be defending in uh, in this particular scenario. And do you like my idea of an ambush over here or is that something I should just skip altogether? Kind of a sacrificial team. All right, all the best, ciao.